Hello my dear health seekers, Inga from Health Origins here. So today I'm going to be making firm tofu with my Soya Bella milk maker. So let's begin. So yeah, so um, I've showed you in the past my um, way of making uh, soy milk in the soya bella. So we're basically gonna start with the same process. So what I did, um, if you have a look, I've um, had a little uh, plastic glass that comes with the soya bella filled with soybeans and I've soaked them overnight in the fridge. And now I'm gonna just pour that water out. So you need at least 12 hours soaking of your beans. So I like to do it overnight. Um, I find that's the best um, kind of way to do it. So yeah, just try and pour as much of that water out as you can. So the um, soybeans, as you can see, are nice and plump. Um, and then here in the soya bella, I've got about a liter of water that I've added and one crucial ingredient we need to add um, that makes that bean taste to go away is a pinch of salt. So a good pinch of salt in here I'm adding. And then we take the motor and we're gonna wiggle it in into this cup so we could um, lock it in place. So just literally carefully wiggle your way until it gets down below low enough until you can lock it in place. There you go. So make sure it's all solid and stable. And then I'm going to place it onto my soya bella. I'm going to connect that wire just there to the back. We can hear a beep and we can see a red beeping, um, beeping, blinking light here as you can see. And all we're gonna need to do is press the button milk once and then the soya bella will start doing its magic for 15 minutes. So once, um, you know, once it's done, it'll beep quite a few times. Um, and then we are ready to go to the next stage where we're go gonna be making actual firm tofu. So let me just start this now. There you go, you can hear one beep and then the light becomes a solid light and the soya bella will start heating the water up and making that soy milk now. So I'll put um, 15 minutes on um, and then, you know, roughly so that I could keep a track of time, but the soya bella will let us know once it's finished. So I've just heard the um, milk maker beep. So let me just switch that off. I'll just take that out just to be safe. And then we're gonna lift this motor with the beans out. Try to drain as much of the milk as we can. The rest of it will um, come out um, into this plastic container so we'll catch the rest there but obviously we want as much of the milk here for making our um, of a firm tofu so uh, I've got a thermometer here so I'm gonna just measure the temperature of my milk so hopefully it's around 80 degrees so it's actually about 90 degrees because it's just obviously finished um, cooking so I'm just gonna slightly mix it um, just to help it cool down just a tad bit and while it's cooling down for that last few um, degrees uh, what I'm gonna do is prepare our coagulant so this is a cup of water actually it was lukewarm but now it's cooled down but anyway um, should be okay and just about a teaspoon of nigari salt. So this is nigari salt. So um, if you haven't seen uh, the video that I've done comparing three different coagulants, I've done with nigari salt, with gypsum, and also with Epsom salts. Um, and then also I've got a video how you make uh, tofu, firm tofu with lemon juice as well. So I'll link to all of these um, down below and to the one where I'm comparing the three coagulants up in the 
um, card above as well um, so you can check but um, the best results were with the Nigari um, so that's what I'm using here so about because I'm only doing a liter here so I'm just doing a cup of water with nearly um, a teaspoon of Nigari salt and I'm gonna just die um, for dissolve that's the word I was looking for so yeah so let it dissolve in here and then when we reach the correct temperature we're gonna be pouring it in so so yeah you want to make sure there's no crystals here you want to um, completely dissolve it yeah so that looks clear to me so that's our our um, kind of um, coagulation liquid and then um, I'm gonna just measure my temperature again so we want about 80 degrees Celsius it's about 82 right now 80 82 83 so it's it's near there so um, what also we have is we have tofutur, um kind of mold um, that's really great because what we're gonna need to do we're gonna line this with a bit of like um, uh, what you call this muslin cloth yeah um, so that you know bits of curd wouldn't drop through the um, that little kind of um, sieve thing here so I'm gonna just put that in um, and get that ready for when this is coagulated so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna just pour um, actually I need to quickly check on the video how I did it did I do half of it and then afterwards the other half let me just check it right so I have checked my own video it's good to have a library isn't it um, and um, we need to put half of the amount so half a cup now um, so I'm gonna just pour ha around half in and then I'm gonna just distribute in figure eight like that okay and we're gonna leave this to rest now for about seven minutes um, and then come back pour the rest in rest for another three minutes and our tofu should be curdled it's been seven minutes that this has been resting i'm gonna pour the other half of the um, nigari solution in here try and distribute it evenly and we're gonna leave to rest for another three minutes and then we'll be ready to pour it into our mold and while we wait um, we'll just go through um, what's, what's left from the um, beans so you have what is called okara or bean pulp so literally um, this is such a nutritious thing that you could use in numerous um, recipes and I'll link to a few of them uh, down below for you um, you can make roast you can make uh, vegan patties or burgers um, you can also make cookies um, I've also used it to make a pie crust um, so there's a lot of uses for this thing um, yeah so don't throw it away definitely it's it's very nutritious so yeah so you either need to either use it fresh or you can keep it in the fridge covered for um two three days um or if you're not going to use it straight away you can either freeze this or also dehydrate it so i made um kind of soy mince from it if you like so I basically put it on my dehydration sheet and dehydrated it for 12 or a little bit more hours um, and then you can store it in a ziploc bag um, and that's kind of like your uh, dry soy um, mince if you like so yeah so there's a few ways you can store and use this and also don't forget you need to either put this to soak in water or scrub it straight away because if you leave this to dry air dry it like this it'll be really a pain to to try and scrub this off um, and with the motor you're not supposed to immerse so you can just you know wash this bottom bit 
make sure the water doesn't get into any other higher parts there so I just normally put it just you know under the tap a little bit and just wash bits off this part so that should be it that's 10 minutes that's been resting now and um, so this is exactly the same way how I made the um, firm tofu with the nigari salts in my other video except that I didn't need to heat up the milk because we already made it and it was fresh and hot already so you're kind of missing a step so while you're creating soy milk um, you know you can make tofu um, at the end of it as well so so yeah so let's pour the curds out into this sieve Actually, I think I can see the problem. Um, this is going to have a bit too, too much weight um, to start with. So what you probably want to do before pouring it into this mold itself, um, because it only can fit a certain amount of uh, liquid just at the bottom, um, just pour the majority of this um, over a bowl of some sort so it can catch all the water yeah so let this this drip out um, I'll probably oh that's perfect it actually sits in there so I'm just gonna slowly keep on pouring a little bit more and let it slowly drip out of it or you could just place it over a bigger bowl and um, some kind of metal sieve as well that's probably would be better too so that would be quite a good contraption some kind of bigger bowl then we sit this metal sieve in here and then we can sit this um, this box this mold in there and then pour this through so take your time, don't rush it because you don't want to break up these curds. So just um, slowly um, and carefully just try and pour them in and let it drip through. Look at that. So that's pretty nice curds in there. You can see that the water in between it is clear if you're water is a bit murky and milky it's probably you didn't have enough coagulant in there but this it looks clear in between the curves so that's perfect so the majority of liquid has um, dripped out as you can see there's quite a bit of water and I already poured uh, a, another bowl out as well so this water um, or whey um, is probably good for watering the plants I've read somewhere so you could cool this down um, you know keep it in a jar uh, cool it down and water your plants as well but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna now put this in my mold here I'm gonna nicely um, just wrap it a little bit like that and then I'm gonna just place this on top and we're gonna strain the remainder of this water out um, overnight so now this is ready to go into my fridge and we'll check it in the morning so a tofu has spent the night and also the day in the fridge so let's have a look you only need to um, press it for at least maybe two three hours I would say um, and that should be enough but let's see what what it looks like so there we go it's always an exciting part unwrapping this So I'll lift this out and we're gonna place this on there yeah so that's looking good looking good so let me cut a piece 
So it's fairly nice and firm. So let me try this tofu for you. Mm. It's fairly plain. Obviously, it's just the soybean curd. There's no salt in this. So it's just pretty plain um, tofu, but it's it's pretty good. Um, quite, quite, quite good texture. Maybe it's not as firm as some other firm tofu, so it's not like extra firm. It's just probably like a firm tofu. But yeah, so this is how easy you can make your own tofu using soya bella. If you don't have soya bella, you can just heat the milk up until 80 degrees um, and repeat, you know, and do all the other steps with the coagulant um, that I've showed you. So yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe for more videos and experimenting here on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And remember, food is fuel. So be mindful of what you put in the body. Until next time.